So here we have the armored car. So these guys are one of the many devices we do to help people out with shoulder stabilization and shoulder activation. So these weighted stainless steel saucers with the caster wheels on the bottom and the swiveling handles on top, um, they execute shoulder activation and stabilization in kind of a unique way. So because of the elevation of where you actually hold on to that, those handles on the the armored cars there, it forces all the anterior muscle in the body to stretch out. So because that is um, supported there by the handles, you, in a sense, you can almost rest on them. It makes it very easy for the athlete or client to activate all down the posterior chain. So you can see as all my guys hit their drills all the way from their glutes, low back and upper back, all that's being activated in that it's really augmented by the position of the armored cars and also the smooth movements and the weight. All those components uh, make it for a very easy path to healthy and functional shoulder activation. All right, so here we are, some gorgeous close-up shots of the armored cars. So um, these are a little different color. These are uh, our prototype colors. We always put them in those colors to test them out to make sure that the build is sound. So um, there's the old versions. That's what actually the color is gonna look like when we release these new versions. So the new versions, handles come in and out. We found this was a lot um, easier to adjust the weight into and the old ones were great, but the, uh, the pegs that these stand on, check this out, were a little too high. So for some of our guys, that was uh, not productive. So it was actually hurting their shoulders. So with these ones, we can keep uh, the height appropriate so they're safe and pain-free, and then we can build up height as we build up weight. So uh, another feature about these, so beyond that, casters on the bottom, multi-directional. It's very important if we're trying to teach these smooth arcing movements in the shoulders. For um, these guys, the handles, these rotate. So that is super important. So if we're really trying to teach smooth range of motion in all directions, having this having these uh, swivel and flow freely it, it lets the equipment uh, adapt to the user so meaning how the user is moving that's where the resistance is going to be so um, we try and design almost everything like that instead of the other way around as opposed to the user having to adapt to the handles or angles of the equipment